Hey everyone, so uh, today I want to talk about multimeters and you know multimeter is something you gotta have for for troubleshooting circuits, for testing batteries, uh, testing LEDs, doing any of that kind of stuff. It's right up there with a the soldering iron for a must-have tool and like anything else you, know, you can spend an enormous amount of money on them or you know, no money on them. You can spend ten dollars on up to you know four or five hundred. Um, so the trick is finding something you know in a kind of a happy medium price range that'll that'll do everything you want and be really useful. Um, I've been using this old WaveTech meter man forever and ever, and it's really great. But it had, does have a couple shortcomings. I was looking for a new one, and I think I found it in this Oan B35T. Um, this is a really really good buy for about fifty five bucks. Uh, I really like it a lot. I've been using it for a little bit now and very happy with it. So this will test volts, millivolts, do a diode test, test resistance, capacitance, uh, temperature. It's got a little thermocouple so if you want to, you know, if you want to see how hot the bed is on your 3D printer it'll do that or test your soldering iron tip or whatever, calibrate the tip on it. Um, it does micro ramps, milliamps, amps, AC, DC. Um, but there's one thing about it that is really, really cool. Uh, other than the fact that it has a stand, which my old one doesn't have, is you can use it to connect to your phone over Bluetooth. Um, and what that allows you to do is data logging. So for what I found when I was doing costuming, uh, design work and stuff, and people were saying, well, how long is the battery going to last? I don't know, you know, I mean, you have to kind of, you know, guesstimate, but with servos and stuff that are drawing, you know, current, um, a servo could draw just a few milliamps or it could draw two amps, you know, you have no idea. So what I wanted was something where I could connect into my circuit and I could log that data and average it out, you know, to kind of get an average reading for, you know, what the current capacity is of my circuit you know, how much power it's drawing, and then I could, you know, from there I could guesstimate how long, you know, what battery lifetime would be. So to set this guy up for Bluetooth, all you do is press the button on here, you'll see the Bluetooth symbol come on, and then you just pair it with your phone, like so. And I've got my servo hooked up here to a servo tester with the included alligator clip leads, like so. so with that. You can see the the current draw through there. But if we change this to a scrolling, sorry, to a different screen, you can see how much current it's drawing. Now watch as I load the servo you'll see that current, that number go up substantially. So with servos, you know, you get a huge load variance depend, or I'm sorry, a huge current uh, variance depending upon on the load. So it's really hard to calculate, you know, how much kind of current they're pulling. And normally when you've got the meter just going like this with those numbers, let me turn on the backlight. So with the backlight on, which is nice in a dim office like this, but you can see those numbers are going by so fast that it's impossible for you to, you know, you can set this to do a high and low, so it'll record the highest point and the lowest point, but it's hard to get an idea for what the average current pull is. Um, that's why this feature is really, really nice. And so I can tell it to log it and it'll save this file as a CSV file and then I can output it to my computer, I can email it to myself or whatever I want to do directly from my phone. It works with an iPhone, works with Android, tablet, phone, iPad, whatever, it's, it's cross-platform, it's really, really slick setup. That's a really, really nice way of trying to figure out how much power you know, your animatronic costume is going to use, you know, for calculating battery life. You know, nothing sucks worse. In the middle of a convention, you want to show someone or everything works and then, you know, no battery power left. Oh, I don't know how long it lasted. Well, now, now you can figure it out thanks to this little guy. Um, 55 bucks, like I said, 
pretty darn sweet. I don't think there's any other meter out there that I've researched that has the same feature set as this one for that kind of money. I've test, tested it against this, my old uh, WaveTech for accuracy, and it's, it's right on the money. I give it the big thumbs up. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, so I'll put a link down below for where you guys can go to find one of these guys. Um, excellent. Uh, that's it. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.